Hello everyone, welcome to Adora Perfect Pups, and in today's video we're going to be talking about some of our available cabapoos. So today's video we're just going to be covering some of the available cabapoos that we have. We have all males right now available. Um, we've got five of them running around, so it's a little bit of chaos, um, but uh, we're going to be talking about a few different topics uh, as we go along. Um, and we're going to grab, try to grab each one. And we got them about to pull over the lights here, so we're going to try to make this as uh, watchable as possible, but it might be a little bit of chaos going on. So um, starting out here, and Angie, you feel free to um, talk about any one as we go along as well. But um, the one I'm holding right now, this is Tank. <laughs> and Tank is about, um, let's see, he's probably what, nine, ten weeks old now, I think nine weeks. Um, some of his um, siblings are going to be going home um, later this week, next week. So this is Tank. He was from Kalahari Slitter. Yep. Yeah. And let's see, this one, let's see, I might have to grab my chip reader. This is Kane. Okay. All right, so the next one we're going to talk about here is Kane. And then I'll have his brother Chip here. These two are go together. So these two are brothers. And Angie, I'll let you maybe, are you gonna hold one? Yep, yeah. Yep. So I've got Kane, Angie has Chip, and Kane here, he's got a little bit of white on his head there and on his chest. And I think Chip, if we remember right, we were doing um, some temperament with, uh, with some, some of them. Is he the one that was most calm probably? I think, yeah. So maybe you can kind of talk about that a little bit with him. and. These are Marlowe's puppies. Um, okay, yeah. So this is Kane and Chip, and then yeah, Chip is the more calm one of the two. Yeah. For sure, he's just a more tender-hearted guy. They are s seven weeks. Yeah. Seven mm -hmm. weeks, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think when yep. they go home. Yeah, he is yep. the um, more sensitive. He has uh, five other brothers. So she had an all-male litter, mm -hmm. and he's just a, obviously you can see when you handle him, he's just, He's a tender fella and just snuggles right in, right? But he loves to play as well. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yep. And this little guy here is Asher. And he is, he, I'm not sure, where does he fit in? He's Josephine. Josephine, mm -hmm. okay. He had yeah. three brothers. Yep. So, right? Uh, no, there no, was no, no, Angel no. and Angel, Ava. Ava. There were two right, and two, right, right, I think. Right, right, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And he likes they to run for too. Yes. Yep. Yes. And this little guy has a little special story here. This is Moose. Uh -huh. And Moose had a little bit of trouble when he was younger uh, with weaning and so forth. So he's been hanging around with us for a while, making sure he's back to strength and healthy. And he has been um, strong and healthy with us for the last couple weeks. So he is ready to go as well. Um, and the one reason, if you notice, you'll notice on our website, he, I need to pick my mic around here. <laughs> um, he is priced a little bit lower and um, there's not um, any health issues with him. No. Other than that, he's just a little bit older. That's the only reason. He's just been around. And so it's just kind of, right, you know, we're ready to, for him to find a good home. His birthday was 425. Okay. And so. he's been with Angie for what, the last, at um, least? Since, yeah. I mean, like or I guess you should say he's, well, he's been with you since he's yeah, been born, but. Right. Um, but he's been, um, you've been doing a little bit more with him uh, in the last few weeks, Very, right? Yeah, Since he's a little care. older. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he's had his rabies shot, so yep. I believe he's close to 16, 17 weeks, if yep. I'm not mistaking. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And you, he's, I gave him a, he's, he's been, been a, a professional crate. groomer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been so you'd trained. call him crate trained or not? Yeah, I would. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He doesn't, um, he doesn't mind it. Mm-hmm. He knows his name, this guy is a so uh, changing his name might be a little challenging because yeah. he definitely knows Moose. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a Moose. He's, he's the, the farthest from it. <laughs> he's so. He's not big. He's, he's, he's not more petite. Big. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you could move it to Goose. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking maybe I should change his name so that yeah. <laughs> he's young enough that, that you could maybe change yeah. it if you yeah, wanted, you if, if a person wanted to. Yeah. Um, you might want to choose something that's fairly similar to Moose. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so <laughs> they're running all over the place. So let's try to grab a few again here. So this is Tank, and Tank has a little bit yeah, again, a little bit more straight wavy he's coat. He's an F1. He's an F1. F1. His mother is a Cavalier. Yep. Uh -huh. hey, yep. hey, hey, hey. So that's Tank. 
And Moose and of is course, a, Moose. Moose is an Moose F1 is F1B. Uh-huh. Yep. So you see the curlier hair comb. Yep. yep. This is Asher. And right? Asher is an F1 Asher, as well. He's an F1. His mom is a Cavalier. And then we've got these two guys, Kane and Chip. And these guys are F1Bs. Yep. And they've got a little bit more curly coat. Um, but they have definitely the looks. Um, I love their little teddy bear faces. So um, this is a little bit of a chaotic video. Hopefully you guys were able to follow along and enjoy it anyway. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to show off some of our available um, Cavapoos. They are all males right now. Um, and we do have a couple litters upcoming as, um, that have, um, there's one litter for sure. We do have one female spot available in an upcoming litter if you're looking for a female. But these are our current pups and they are this is, I mean, is this normal, Angie, for puppies this age? Or? A little bit when yeah. you have multi-ages um, in here. So. Multiple puppies. Yeah, and you have an old they were, pup that I mean, they were in, calm and were like, sleeping. when we were <laughs> letting them yeah, hang out after were, their bath, yeah. they were pretty much calm and almost falling asleep, but they well, are. you have very high energy, like you yeah. have an older puppy with higher energy, and so it just brings all of them And then out. you say sometimes that's actually a sign of them being tired, yeah, too? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which they had just fallen asleep because mm -hmm. I had trimmed nails and yeah. and then we brought them in. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to show you the difference between puppies that are just freshly awakened that are ready for stimulation and toys to what happens to about 18 hours of the day. Uh, this is Tank on my right here and this is Asher closer to me. Uh, these little fellas are ready for nap time. Um, you see how calm and collective they are, how connected. Um, just how peaceful it is. It was a little chaotic earlier, um, but this is really how it is the majority of your time with a Kapapoo, and they just want to be right with you. So I just think it's really neat to show the other side of it, how lovely they are. Yes, these little fellas are just extra special. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. If you have any interest, our website is adoraperfectpups.com. And any questions about Cavapoos, you know, we love to um, answer those in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to do that down in the comments. Um, follow on Instagram and um, yeah, reach out if you'd like at adoraperfectpups.com. We'll see you in the next one.